Today we're going to demonstrate a little bit about all of our manufacturing's new modular deck. The modular deck was designed for larger machines like fluidized bed dryers or for large gravity separators uh, for really several reasons. Um, first of all, we note that, that on these large decks it's hard to remove a deck for maintenance purposes or hard to remove a deck if you're changing between different crops. Uh, so we've designed a deck that is modular, comes apart, actually a lot easier to remove with fewer people. Uh, the other idea behind that is that if uh, you're changing between two crops, say soybean that requires a coarser overcover and wheat that requires a much finer overcover, uh, we can actually add that second deck much more uh, cost effectively than we have been able to in the past. You know, John, you can take this deck off anywhere you've got enough space for an operator to work next to the machine. You can actually get all the pieces off of this machine. So in a plant that's very tight, you've got a lot of spouting, got machines close to it, it's not a problem. You can still do what you need to do. Perfect. So we're going to demonstrate the disassembly and reassembly of the modular deck. So as we take apart the modular deck, the idea is to take it apart section by section. The rail set is designed separate from the deck pieces and comes apart in sections. They're latched down, a very heavy duty robust, very heavy duty robust latch. Pieces come apart simply but are built with a little heavier gauge steel than we've ever used in the past. In fact, they're all stainless steel. And all of it, as Shane said, stainless. Let's go back, John, toward the... These pieces are the heart of the modular deck and replaceable one piece at a time. So if you're changing out either the overcover on this deck between two different crops, as I mentioned, soybean and something like wheat needing different meshes here, it's very easy to do. Also, most operators realize that over the years, this section that's being fed to takes more wear than the, the sections below it. So this would be changeable. Uh, and, and now doing so, you wouldn't have to change out the rest of the sections. You can even UPS those back to Oliver and, and we, can re, we can replace the overcover and UPS it right back. Much, much less hassle. Yeah, so the other part of that is the overcovers are still replaceable. You know, John, another thing we've done with the modular deck concept is tailored the airflow pattern in the substructure to really follow the way the product flows down the deck. As the product is, is coming off the machine, the depth thins out, and we use a, a, a smaller hole to reduce the airflow pattern as it comes off the deck to keep the separation working well. And, and in this case, on a dryer, we keep the airflow distributed where the product is heaviest. Perfect. So let's go ahead and we will reassemble. These pieces are designed so that they interlock and you'll notice that there's a piece here that covers over onto the next section. 
That's for rigidity and it's also for clean out purposes to keep seed out of the sections there. These are all capable of being washed down, made of aluminum and stainless steel. If they're being used in conjunction with a fluidized bed dryer, where you might have some wet tacky buildup after a period of time, these can be easily pulled off and power washed down. Let's go around the end there, Shane. Again, the pieces are all designed to interlock. So you see these come together there, close up any gaps and make them more rigid. Clamp down with a very robust clamp. Final piece goes in place. And his thumb screwed in and requires no tools to remove or take apart the deck. Apparently the sales engine or uh, director of sales isn't as fast as the chief engineer at threading. Oh, I cheated. I came over and took it off 10 times this morning just for practice. Righty tidy, right? Yeah, yeah. Good. And there it is. That's the Oliver modular deck.